Hi, it's SPX. How you doing? Did you know that 70% of you guys are not subscribed? Also, did you know that I am living in those 70% walls right now? And if you want me to stop, you'll hit that subscribe button. What is up, you awesome kisters? This is React Your Guys. Today we're reacting to Is Mascot Horror Really Dying? Make sure you guys hit that like button, uh, subscribe to Mina AXA, and uh, comment down below. Let's get into this bot. Let's see, is our At is our point, favorite horror no mascots actually dying? That the mascot horror genre and they use Garks and Bad Bad over the video. That's, I would certainly that's a soft not insult. Be the first person to make this claim. As mascot horror in the general has been horror. progressively worsening. Jeez. Because in the past two years, we've gone from Poppy Playtime to Security Breach to Garten of Ban Ban. <laughs> and I think it's safe to say that each subsequent release yielded a significantly worse game than its predecessor. Yikes. Towards the end of the video, I want yeah, to reaffirm it with the white text on how I believe we should be treating some of the newer developments in the mascot horror community. But before we can talk about that, is that actually like the second game's promotional art? Exactly they already made horror it. Has been on a downward spiral for a while. Jeez. To begin with. Let's see, because I, I haven't watched videos like this. I haven't really thought about people's like thoughts on the mascot horrors like FNAF and Bendy and Poppy. Playtime Poppy. Chapter One came out on October 12th, 2021. It was developed two by years ago. It doesn't even feel like it to Mob Entertainment. It really doesn't feel like it was two years ago. Upon the game's release, there were heaps of controversy surrounding it. I'm personally under the belief that with horror games like this, that it's is huggy to wuggy children, appropriate for six year olds. Very much not. If these games Have they seen are actually it? safe for their kids or not. No, not like the... literally, I I'm sorry for pausing. I I'm trying not to do that no more. But bro, you how do you know what huggy wuggy is named? But you haven't seen huggy wuggy like look at huggy wuggy and tell me that's appropriate for a child. It, it, it can't really be developers. I think it'll However, give a kid nightmares. That more so than any That's other a dumb question to ask. What era, Karen mother asked game that? Is definitely explicitly marketed towards children. Huggy Whether Wuggy Baby is so not, happy with family. The premise and the character designs are already enough evidence of that. And I'd like yeah, to they're all smiley, but the when they open their mouths, you see those teeth, like in the profile picture. A Horrifying. Back to school merch video. So if the rest wasn't damning evidence, well, there you go. Mm <laughs> hmm. Even before the game's release, there was already controversy surrounding the company of Mob Entertainment. A partnered animation company that works under Mob Entertainment, Enchanted Mob, had tried to hire an up-and-coming animator named Ethan, who made animations very similar in style to theirs. Because he was told he would not be allowed to continue his original channel if he worked for them, he refused the offer, and then proceeded to go through a lot of bullying and mental oh, strain geez. that he really should not have had to because of that. For one, they frequently bullied him through the Animation Sins channel. Why do I feel like I remember this, but I also don't? Animations, which occurred around 2017, 2018. Ethan also claims that he was sent sexualized memes of his Minecraft character by Enchanted Mob when he was still a minor, and some of Jeez. the Enchanted Mob animations sort of sexualized Circus Baby, who is possessed by a literal child, so there's also that. Enchanted Mob's quote-unquote apology for those events were that Everyone involved was also a minor at the time, so I guess that just makes it a-okay. Ethan also claimed that Poppy Playtime actually went awful for a minute. his game, Venge. The games are inherently similar due to drawing inspiration from the same places, of course, but knowing that Ethan was bullied by many of the higher-ups involved with Poppy Playtime for years before its existence makes you understand at least why he'd feel that up. it was done with the intent of harassing him. Poppy Playtime also attempted to do NFTs. Funnily enough, many yeah. employees actually That's what it looks like when you buy an NFT. That NFTs were a terrible idea, but they went through with it anyways, which obviously resulted in immediate backlash such as boycotts, refunds, Yeah, I don't understand why people why people in games did NFTs at the time. The it, it was looked down really upon. You're just bad. asking for hate. I think the soundtrack and boycotts. Designs, story and I don't understand why people did that. Definitely not meant to be discredited. But these are mostly the work of the hired artists and developers, not the controversial higher ups at Mob Entertainment. Learn from these people. Really happens with the franchise. People who are watching and want to make their own franchises, point, learn I from these the people. Don't dip your series in crypto. You're just asking to get booted and don't bully people. As opposed to a free demo, considering it was essentially just a 30 minute tech demo, is, is kind of silly. But at that point, that's just my Bullying opinion. is very messed up. Yeah, man. 
Not like when you like later, when you put everything on it. Yeah, it seems like horror mascot is like kind of dying out. How that went. <laughs> Dang. Amongst dying out and has a lot of drama by it. Studios suffered at the hands of the scope creep, which scope creep. means that they kept trying to add so much that the core of the game didn't have time to be properly developed or fleshed out and is inherently flawed, ultimately oh. resulting in an unfinished, unpolished, and uninspired mess that destroys everything the previous games built up, which is obviously a big hit to Mascot Horror, since Final Fantasy Freddy's is pretty much the sole reason that Mascot Horror exists in its current form. Though the game was delayed twice, it still ended up being really, really rough. Very, very Most long delays too, man. The Christmas season of 2021, and they decided that they had to release it at that time. I still remember how painful it was, was at the so time. Buggy that it was hardly playable. Jesus, what happens to quality of the video? Release. You can even find comprehensive bug showcase videos, one of which being nearly 50 minutes long. What? Jeez. Many people were hoping from the lore introduced in Hellblade. A glitch compilation for 50 minutes is crazy. Would actually be a really well constructed reboot of the FNAF franchise after Ultimate Custom Night definitely ended the first main story. However, the game Old failed man to have a protagonist, not really any good characters, no reveals that had any lasting impact, and also had multiple endings that confused everyone about what was canon. By the look of the trailers, you'd think the antagonist was meant to be Vanny, but she had almost zero impact on the game and only really yeah. appeared in the last 10 to 15 minutes. Look <laughs> how every the Security Breach video will mention that. Everyone's still mad at them for that. <laughs> ...was also, frankly, absurd. As narratively, it makes I'm a little mad at Steel Wolf for that, that too. Vanny should have been more in Freddy the game. ...or Springtrap, now Birdtrap, should continue existing, let alone be in a state to affect the story in any meaningful way. I think it's needless to say that Security Breach was a massive disappointment, and I honestly don't believe that the upcoming Security Breach Ruin DLC slated for some time this year has any Surely chance will come of redeeming next the damage year. that's already been done. And to be honest, to me, the worst part isn't necessarily the game itself, but more the way that Steel Wool handled the situation. The game's trailer yeah. promised a lot more than what was delivered, and when the game was launched, lore, it was clear as day to anyone. The lore really disappointed a lot of people. The gameplay, the running around freely, I loved incarnate. it. How did they handle it? They put out two band-aid patches that hardly did anything and barely <laughs> updated the game for three months. Band-aid patches, Even geez. after stopping the bug fix patches and claiming they were satisfied with the game situation, it was still chock full of issues. Many people like to claim that the reason why Steel Wool released the game so early and unfinished is because the fans were rushing them, but there's no way that's the case. Nah. Like I said earlier, it's far more likely to be something about releasing in Because in Halo, when it came season. out early, lots of fans general, were asking for that. Steel communication has and continues to be a huge Halo Infinite, issue when it came out earlier, to this day. I don't think game devs listen to demand like no that. Hope in the DLC. At the most fundamental level, I also don't think that anybody really finds Security Breach scary. Five Nights at Freddy's There's no tension at all through most of the game. One of the scariest horror games to ever exist, and for good reason. But now, where are we at? Now, Five Nights at Freddy's reputation as a franchise is definitely damaged, to say the least. With the game, I wonder with Ruin, will shambles, they actually go back to the old gameplay of Five Nights at Freddy's? That will create the tension. Role, and when the series is being done by just one passionate guy, Five Nights at Freddy's isn't indie horror anymore. It's just a joke. Jeez. Now nah, the fade to black after saying that, 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 that hit, that hit. Now I could talk about Roblox hit on the heart. Horror, but uh, I honestly think it's not even worth my time. Jeez. I know that Roblox is an inherently easier platform to get away with making a low quality horror game and you're almost guaranteed to be developing the game for a child demographic. Piggy and Rainbow Friends are just not it. Sorry <laughs> to anyone who likes them. Wow. But even those games pale in comparison. I mean, I like Doors. Doors is a good game of to the me. Latest and worst major talking point in mascot horror discussion. What's your favorite Roblox you horror game? It. Let me know in the comments. I know it. We all know it. Garden the end is here. of Ban Ban. <laughs> Garden of Ban Ban was published and developed by the Euphoric Brothers on January 6, 2023. It was immediately met with immense backlash and for a pretty decent reason. Hey, what the? F <laughs> Why, did, why are the physics so fucked? Jeez, man. Everything that there is with mascot horror strips it of any passion, 
or anything that makes a game actually interesting and leaves only the absolutely necessary things to still be called a mascot horror game at all. There's a mystery, there's a setting, and there is an enemy, and that's kind of it. The bird had I'll palms on its face? Brothers credit for one thing. <laughs> they managed to make a game Where's so the bird bad that it's gotten face? ridiculously popular just on its merit for being bad. Why? Yeah, Garden... Why is it always to the left? <laughs> Garden of Band Band was definitely designs. weird. Uh, they're literally just blobs. Like, they decided to draw a shape that vaguely resembled a character, slap a bright, bold color and a face on it, and boom, you've got a marketable, loved by kids all around the world <laughs> character design. As wow. an artist, these designs sat in Band Band OC Glimbo made in two could. minutes. The gameplay consists of a stranger breaking into a facility that involves children where a strange tragedy occurred to uncover its mysteries. It involves puzzles that use a gimmick mechanic to reach otherwise out of place objects to progress further in the game, occasionally interrupted by a mascot scare or chase scene. That drone was so Sound annoying familiar? to use. Yeah, the gameplay loop is ripped straight from Poppy Playtime, where it involves puzzles that use a gimmick mechanic to reach otherwise out of place objects to progress further in the game, occasionally interrupted by a mascot scare or chase scene. Nah, I wouldn't even have the old huggy wuggy chase is crazy if it was scary and if they didn't have a giant terrifying days button on the menu But it's kind of just <laughs> funny Get Like it's literally merch. the most entertaining part of the whole game is, is the bird the bird just falls to her death because of the sound and the rag Her physics. death? That's new lore. The, the, the bird's a girl. I, I didn't know that <laughs> <laughs> It's a laugh I won't lie, after watching Super Horror Bros video on the lore, I'm at least mildly intrigued. <laughs> I, got, I gotta definitely watch that, because I need to know the full lore here. And giving away just enough details to make the player wonder what happened. And yeah, like, what, what's going on here? built in a way that seems like poor level design and could realistically never be a kindergarten, but it might be intentional. The floating I hole. I mean, it's clearly no ordinary kindergarten. I don't know. Maybe I'm giving it too much credit. The game's sequel was announced at the end of the first game, and the game launched with a fully equipped merch store button. I forget to mention, the, the first game was like 10 Clearly, minutes if you know what you're game doing. Was made with the purpose of robbing the wallets of the parents whose kids know no better. There is no <laughs> love put into this game. I spent more time dicking around with prop physics than playing game the game. Either drastically ups the quality and originality, or just doesn't happen at all. I think it's pretty safe to say. <sighs> that mascot whore is heading in a dark direction. Jeez, the the or, the depressed sigh. Okay. Wait, so or is it? I was definitely being kind of misleading throughout this video up to this point on how I actually feel about this topic. Okay. Although the entire video definitely portrayed me as having like M a maybe there's mindset. hope. Uh, to be honest, I don't really think that this mindset is appropriate. I mean, if you sit and think about it, what is actually wrong with Garten of Ban Ban? copycat cash grabs of popular games are not even remotely a new concept but somehow the internet as a whole seems to be overwhelmingly against the existence of this game where was that energy with minecraft clones i think garton of ban ban what is that is minecraft clone trend although it definitely is a mediocre game which is an understatement in itself nobody is forced to play it forced to watch it or forced to contribute to it in any way monetarily. I mean, for fuck's sake, the game is free. <laughs> the YouTube algorithm in the past few weeks has been absolutely inundated with videos claiming that this, this game, game sucks. This nothing, low effort game, Jeez. ruined mascot horror. But did it really? No, not at all. It's just another mediocre title in a sea of thousands of similar Jeez. games. And people are just capitalizing we, on this a person does not omit the truth that clearly wasn't meant to be good and weaponizing an opinion that doesn't really make sense if you think about how little the game actually affects you on a personal level basically what i'm trying to say is what if the second game they down. yeah enjoy making fun of ban ban and other bad horror games and patiently immediately stories world i good ones I mean, oh, I still have to play that. We're getting FNAF Plus this year, and I think that honestly shows more promise than What if uh, the second game is going to be FNAF like fire? It's just going to completely surprise Dark everybody. Came out I can't wait to play it. That game's pretty cool. And with the closing thoughts, Mascot Horror is not dying. If anything, it can only get better from here. Thanks for watching. Especially with everybody complaining about it. People are going to take more time with their games, so yeah.
Um, yeah, that's why I like Mina, or I'm sorry, Min AXA's videos. I, I think I, I'm, I'm gonna keep on saying that username wrong because I suck at reading, but I, I like their videos. They, they have a, they have a good um way of talking about things. If you guys want more content from this channel, make sure you guys hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe for more to become a kisser of your day, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.